breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. What we are hearing now is uh um, Elisha where said the fuel subsidy, NLC is in bed in the system. Show where fires. They said we should they should tell themselves the truth. You know, why did they call off the strike? They so the you know the all planned strike. Why was it called off? Is there more that we should know? Is there something else that we need to understand with all of this going on? You see, is is there so what have they given to NLC? What is the what are the terms and conditions? What was agreed upon? And how come you know NLC is having a free a free fl flow in all of this? So these are some of the questions that have been coming out, and every single person is really wondering what next to do in the face of all that is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, Omoyele Showare, has called out the Nigerian Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress saying that they have credibility problem as most of them are now in bed with the system. Showare made the assertion when he spoke in an exclusive interview following the announcement by the NLC and NUC that it has suspended its planned strike on Wednesday, June the 7th, over the removal of fuel subsidy. The labor movement now has now suspended the nationwide action after remitting with the Nigerian government on Monday. He said that the labor movement sat there when Peter B was saying, I will remove fuel subsidy, and he said nothing about it. According to Showare, it sounded hypocritical now that they went to fight against removal of the same oil subsidy. But that is the same issue that Peter will be discussed that he was going to do. The issue for me with the labor with labor is credibility. If labor calls a meeting for us to have a strike or a protest, I will request for one thing that is labor movement or NL or NLC or, T or TUC will, will not have the capacity to call off the strike. It will be calling off the strike, but the protest will be done by another body that is composed of labor leaders, civil society groups, several other people that are interested because every one of us have learned our hard lesson with going on strike with labor. He said that if you go and protest with labor by 12 noon, labor can leave you and police will come catch you and beat you up and you will not hear the labor movement because most of them are already in bed with the system. And I'm not afraid to say this publicly, that the labor system has no credibility before me. They have totally forgotten their importance. You call for something that the whole of Nigeria was looking forward to, for the betterment and the good of the people. The same you have called it off. Why? Why? So this is the problem now. People are very angry and they don't want, you know, they don't want to see or hear any of these things going on saying it is, it is really, it is really wrong. Okay. He said it is wrong. Say because more Elisha Wares say the same label now that is telling you this and that. We go ahead and we do something totally different. Unbelievable. You know, he says so you can't even trust them to work with them. In his own submission, he feels that this is all scam. You know, they want, they say they just make noise. You know, by the time they meet with the presidency and uh, they are offered A, B, C, D, Z, they're, off they go, they throw you under the bus. He says, so they are not people to be reckoned with. They're not people you can, you can put your mind down to say, okay, we, are, we have a plan. We have a mission statement and we are working at, together to ensure that at the end of the day, things are done decently and in order and there is an order in which things will go. So these are part of the you know matters and discussions that are ongoing that every single person must you know pay attention to and we all must again you know pay great attention to understand where this is coming from. You know it is it is sad that you know for a long time we have allowed some of these things to be cleared our judgment without really you know standing up for what we believe and encouraging people who do not share in our values. Okay, to be leaders because 
they say they are they are speaking for you but when the chips are down you find out that they are really looking after themselves and i'm really sure you know in his own submission said these same people worked with peter will be you know and peter will be was saying the same thing that it was going to remove subsidy that why were they fighting the subsidy in the first place as soon as Tinubu mentioned it that was the same mandate peter will be had the same thing he said he was going to do you know so it is what it is and if there is anything that we all must pay attention to right now is that Nigerians, we all need, okay, we all need, uh, you know, people who are honest and sincere. You know, we don't want people who are mockers, deceivers. They come in and they tell you that they want to support you. Uh, we're going to be fighting this thing together. You go there and you discover at the end of the day that you are totally, completely on your own. You know, so Peter Obi, uh, says Peter Obi was also standing for the same cause. That was what he wanted. He said as soon as he comes in, one of the first things that will be eradicated will be this whole subsidy scam. You know, he gave a full lengthy, you know, uh, information on that. More Alicia Warren said he was ready. You know, people were ready to move on with, uh, with you know, with labor to, to, to go ahead for the protest and to say in, this must come to an end. Little did he know that, according to him, they've been in bed with, they've gone to bed with, uh, uh, with the government, and when they and they came back, and the whole thing was cancelled, and he made a very strong statement saying, "You cannot plan with labor," he said because he knows them too well. He said, "Labor, when you plan with them, okay," he said, "by the time before you know, they will they will they will retrieve out of the planned uh, protest or strike, and police will come there and hold you, and you will not hear from them." He says, so these are the kind of people people oh, he has noted and he has seen that Labour Party, Labour, not Labour Party, that these are the kind of people Labour are. And so they've shown it again. They've not uh, turned from that same position. And he's saying to Nigerians that you cannot trust Labour, according to Omoele Showare. So you, they say they can't be trusted. So again and again, they, you know, they, they would rather you know, stay with the government and come back again and tell the people a different story altogether. Well, Nigerians... Like they will say, you and I, we need to make sure that this country move forward and uh, this country becomes a better place for every single person. So we'd like to hear from you. We'd like to hear what you think in all of this. Remember that every single one of us will give an account to make sure that this Nigeria, this country becomes a better place. Yes? So please remember, it's up to you and I. Whatever we do, we'll be the ones to understand you know what goes on god bless bye for now